We are working on a 2003 Ford 7.3 liter F250 truck. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tuesday with McVeigh Racing. Tech Tuesday. Tech Tuesday. Tech Tuesday. Hi, my name is Jonathan McVeigh. I'm with McVeigh Racing. And today we are working on our chase truck, which we call chase number two. And what we're doing today is placing the alternator because our friends at Mean Green sent us their big bad alternator to put into our chase truck. As you well know, having a chase truck, you cannot be stranded on the side of the road. Uh, they are chasing the race car and making sure that all pits are, are done and done properly. So the worst thing that can happen to have a chase truck on the side of the road broken down. So let's install this big bad guy, thanks to our friends at uh, Mean Green. The first thing that you want to do is remove the negative battery cables to both batteries. Not just one, you want to do both of them. So you'll need a half inch drive, um, either a ratchet or a pry bar or something like that to get the uh, the belt, the serpentine belt off the alternator. We've gotten the belt off the alternator. The next thing that we're gonna do is undo the power cable to the factory alternator. So let's get that done. This can be all done with your basic tools at home. Very simple tools, like the nut that I'm pulling off right now is a 10 millimeter. That's the factory size on the back of the factory alternator. Our mean green one's at 13 mil. And we also noticed that there's a secondary um, ground on our mean green alternator. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a wire and ground it to either the battery cable or we're gonna put it right onto the frame. We're not quite sure which yet. All right, so the next thing that you're going to do is depress the the clip back here in and pull the the wire out of the factory off of there, which we've done okay as you can see the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the three mounting bolts out of the alternator which are 13 millimeter now on a factory truck you will not have this piece on there so but if you do just pull the bolts out set it aside that'll be that let's take out the mounting bolts now Okay, now that we have our mounting bolts out, we can go ahead and pull the factory alternator out. Easy. Now what we're gonna wanna do is take and put the, our mean green alternator in, and just put it, put it in there and put the bolts in loosely. We're gonna tighten everything up a little bit later. This alternator, this thing is, is amazing looking and it's gonna really provide a lot of uh, power for everything that our chase team requires more power because of our lights all of our fans <clears throat> the onboard air system a lot of things that we require as a, as a team to, to provide to our for our chase trucks so what i'm doing now is just mounting up the the, the new new alternator and like i said just loosely put your bolts in here and uh and then we'll tighten them up later Okay, we're gonna run them down till they almost touch. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do is plug in the, uh, the factory wire harness into the back of our, our main green alternator. Simple, done. The next thing we'll do is, is Put the power supply on the back of this alternator again we're just putting everything loose on for right now now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to leave the alternator loose 
But we're gonna go ahead and put the belt on. I just wanna look at alignment really quick. Okay, now that we have our, our belt on, I just wanna look quickly and make sure that everything aligns properly. And once we do that, go ahead and tighten up the, uh, the bolts. Now, if you're using an electric tool like I just did, one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do is just get a regular ratchet and put, and put your hands on it. Just make sure that everything feels good. And not, nothing's too loose, too tight, etc. That's good. Okay, once you snug up those those bolts, go ahead and, and snug up the your wire, which is the 13 mil, millimeter, to uh, to the new mean green alternator. Okay, now one thing that we did notice, I mentioned earlier, is we noticed that on the back of the Mean Green Alternator, it does have a port for a secondary ground. So we're gonna go ahead and build a wire. We made our own um, ground cable. So we'll, we'll mount it on the back of, of the alternator and then we'll find a spot either on the frame or the battery cable. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, secure the uh, wire now. Okay, so as you can see, our, our Mean Green alternator is now installed. Just go over and check all your bolts, your 13 mil mounting bolts, uh, the 13 mil nut for the, for the power cable on the back of the alternator. Check to make sure that the plug is completely plugged in and snapped in. Tighten the bolt on the back of the ground cable for the alternator. Then go ahead and put your battery terminals back on your batteries and um, fire up. If the belt squeals, it, you might need a little bit of a shorter belt. So that's what the instructions say. The instructions really come pretty detailed on how to do the job. You just need to be able to unbolt bolts, put it in, make sure the alignment's good, tighten up your bolts, plug in your wiring. The only thing that the kit did not come with was the ground cable. Then we just made one simple. Go to your hardware store or your auto parts store, pick up a, a cable. We wanted to give you guys a two month follow up in regards to the alternator. It's working flawless. We've had it in the truck now for two races and not only are we not having any more charging problems, but this thing hasn't skipped a beat. It's pretty awesome. Thank you Mean Green for uh, supporting McVay Racing. We really appreciate you guys and uh, thanks for watching our video. Subscribe to McVay Racing. Anything else? No. I highly advise getting the alternator just even for a daily driver that is just a normal pickup truck because then you know that you're not gonna have any problems charging your batteries or anything like that. The alternator is just a, I don't know about anybody else, but it is an overkill for most people. But with this truck, it, it definitely is, is an overkill for us too. But still, it, it, we're, we're gonna put it to use.